Today we're going to be discussing, hi everybody, the four ways you can leverage the future of digital marketing and what it can mean for your business in this heading into 2019 where we start to really look at the future of where everything is going. Now you do focus, focus on your future in the present, but especially with the start of the new year, what can we look for? Well, one opportunity is video. Hence this experience that we're doing four live videos here at the same time on multiple platforms. That's because video works to engage people. It's very close to having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and it's a great way to build a brand and brand awareness. How can you use this? You can put it in your advertisements. You could retarget people who have watched a percentage of it. You can then take that and cut it up into smaller segments that become your Instagram story. Hello on Twitter, by the way, thank you for watching. This is about how to use digital marketing and the four ways of its, the future of digital marketing that you can use to grow your business. So thanks for being here. We're in reference to video talking about how you can express your brand's message and then relay value that creates trust, rapport, and a relationship with the viewer. And in that case, you can use it not only organically in your ads, retarget people as part of your email newsletter, and also through text notifications, you could say, hey, my newest blog is up, here it is, check it out, click here. So that's one way. And then the second of the future of digital marketing is chat. Now I put a few different things under that category, Facebook Messenger being one of them. You can create a Messenger bot and get subscribers through that platform. It's a great way to engage people in a platform they've come to trust. It's also a one-on-one -on -one relationship with somebody. And speaking of that, texting, text marketing, important, because you can now get back to people in a very timely manner on a platform where immediacy is the expectation. People look to that to get an immediate answer, customer service. How should I be reacting after this medical treatment? I've seen in some cases that be in use. Also, are you open? It's snowing. What are your hours? Have they changed? Are you open for the holidays? Voice. Third of four trends we're going to use in the future of digital marketing going into 2019. How can we do this? Well, Google Home, Alexa, a lot of different smart speakers where you could take an audio of your vlog or you could read out your blog that's written if you didn't want to go on video and just send it up to Alexa Skills or Google Home or your own podcast. So that is all under the category of voice. How can you use audio to connect to somebody? It can be great for a bonus. If you sell an online course, you could say, hey, you, but if you register by midnight tonight, you also get my audio training about these three things. So that is a way you could add it into your online offerings. You could also, if you wanted to send a quick message to somebody, over Messenger, speak into the phone and have a file of what you just said be sent over to them. Four of four strategies to leverage the future of digital marketing is omnipresence. And I try to do this across multiple platforms as I'm doing now. Left to right, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Periscope, aka Twitter. So how can you do this? Well, you could have a broadcast that's live at the same time, like we're doing now, or you can say, I'm going to be live on Facebook in 20 minutes, and you could do that on Instagram, encouraging everybody over there to go to your Facebook account. You could also do this as a form of training inside of a membership area where you have payments that renew. Let's say you're in a continuity program, and from there you can provide value and take Q&A, question and answer, at the end of your broadcast, so you engage the viewers but also give them a hint of coaching in a very direct way. Every, it's a, just as much direct. Everything part of it is a way to engage people and it's just a little bit less than in person. It's about the closest thing you could get to that. So those are really the four ways. If we're gonna recap this, use video in 2019. More than half of the internet search traffic by 2020, which is only basically a year, a little over a year away, is going to be video and chat, text, messenger. How can you use those to increase your connection with and grow your customers' rapport towards your business? Voice. Take your videos and make a tra and rather make an audio file of them 
upload them to Alexa, Google Home, your podcast, and you're covering that base, checking off the box there, and omnipresence, being willing to understand how consumers think, which increasingly is you guys as a business have to be everywhere. That's the prevailing thought. And if you're not only there, but you have to provide value, be compelling, informative, useful, and provide you resources that can help them get from one state, usually called the before state, to the after state. And that is AKA transformation. But now you have the four ways to leverage digital marketing. If you're, yeah, no, I agree. If you don't use video, nice comment on Instagram, you're gonna be left behind. I completely agree with that. You ever use video like this? Ever go live? Maybe you do recorded. Maybe that's more your style. But I do agree. If you don't use video, someone else is going to. So what's that gonna do? Use video, chat, voice, and omnipresence. If you have questions about this, just type them in the comments. You can see the replay if you're on Instagram 24 hours after the fact. If you're on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter, anytime after the fact, so long as the replay stays up. Thank you for taking the time to having watched this. And if you'd like more information, just go to michaeldeberti.com. I'll see you all in the next video where we're going to be discussing more ways to grow your business with digital marketing, cutting edge tactics to do so. And then I'm going to go left to right, turning off the channels here. Goodbye to Facebook. I do Facebook Live every day to reach out to my client. Well, it makes sense. Good on you for doing that. And if you're actually in the video, which you probably are because it's Facebook Live, unless you're putting slides in, it's a great way to reach somebody. Good for you. And I would add, preview that Facebook Live video in advance. Say to somebody, I go live, in your case it's every day. I go live 9 a.m. every day on Facebook Live. If you want to join me this Friday when we're going to be discussing how you can get a great mortgage on your house or get this awesome property that just became available, click the link to register, not register, but sh show that you're going to attend as an example. So that's really good. Send the replay to your email subscribers, by the way, Stephen. If you want to repurpose that content, send it to your subscribers, download the video, upload it to YouTube, and then you have information for that. And then when you're done, edit it into smaller segments and upload it to your Instagram story. And then when you've done that, take the Instagram story and cross post it to your Facebook story. So that way you just covered a few, you basically got four platforms in one effort. And it's great you're already doing a Facebook Live, keep doing a Facebook Live. And make sure you let people know when you're doing it in advance of when you're doing it and have them send you their questions beforehand. Because then you could say, and John writes in, and then you read his question, and then you answer his question. And then you can even send him an email saying, John, I just answered your question. So it's a great way to engage people. It's great that you're doing it. And, oh, well, thank you for the kind words. Stephen, keep it up. It's great that you're using Facebook Live. And once you've done it, repurpose it, put it everywhere, and let the message be shared across multiple platforms. So thank you, Instagram, and thank you, Stephen, for joining us here today. If you have any other questions, just direct message me, and I'll get on back to you. Thank you very much again for taking the time to watch this video. Until I see you again in the next one here, as I stand there just for a brief moment to format this correctly to the screen, we're going to close with dream big, achieve greatness, and unlock your potential today. And now to YouTube. Thank you for staying on here as we are live on a few different places, but video, chat, voice, omnipresence, and you'll work towards an even better 2019 with digital marketing. Thank you for taking the time to watch.